Here we have what astronomers call a peculiar galaxy. NGC 7603 and 7603b are identified as interacting according to the Sloan Digital Sky Survey, but they have a very interesting problem. As you recall from discussions on Hubble's Law in our segments on galaxy superclusters, an object's redshift gives us its distance. But in this case, the redshift for 7603 is a good deal smaller than the redshift for NGC 7603b. If redshift is only caused by the expansion of the universe, these two galaxies are too far apart to be interacting as they appear to be. Looking at it the other way around, if they are actually interacting, then there must be more than one explanation for redshift. On top of that, two quasi-stellar objects, also known as quasars, have been found in the filament connecting the two main galaxies. The thing is that the QSR's redshifts are dramatically larger than either large galaxy. That puts them billions of light years further away than the galaxy system they appear to be a part of. These numbers have held up under significant spectroscopic analysis. The standard explanation is that they are actually not a part of the NGC 7603 system, and their apparent position is a coincidence. But the odds that this is true are extremely small. Plus, there are other interacting galaxy observations with similar redshift problems. Some astronomers are calling for a new physics to explain the situation. This would put the expansion of the universe and the corresponding Big Bang theory in jeopardy. Time will tell.